Hello and welcome to what I think is the third update on this particular layout build. Can I just start by saying uh, thank you for the big rise in subscribers. Uh, if you are watching this for the first time, please have a look at the other videos, but most importantly, please subscribe. It makes a big difference to us. And then click to get a notification because then every time when we do a video, you won't miss out. Also, please don't forget the Christmas giveaway. There's only, uh, well, just a month and a bit left. Um, so plenty of time still to enter that. Find the video. Um, please don't forget the Christmas giveaway. So what have we got done here? Well, you can see that I've got some scenery beginning to be built. So the first thing here, this was some of the thick cardboard. Um, it's a terrible red garish colour, but it came from free from a garden centre. They were taking down a dump bill and they were going to throw it away and I've got big sheets of it. So that gives me the raised area that I wanted because I like the idea of the station as in real life being at the same height as the road. And you can see the bridge which we saw last time and we've now got a road coming down. Now I wanted this twisty road and I don't know if anybody's ever tried drawing a nice even smooth parallel width curves but it's really difficult. And what I discovered you could do which I hadn't thought about until I tried was I simply got some track, in this case the UF track, the shape I wanted and as it happens, the width I wanted by overlapping the sleepers. And there's your template for your road. Mark it out on a piece of plywood. This is three mil ply. I'm very fortunate. I've got an electric jigsaw. Uh, you could do it by hand. Um, and this is all you need is three mil ply. You do not need six, nine, 10 mil ply and great blocks of wood that you see a lot of people doing. It's going to carry no weight. So there's no point over engineering it. Um, and then over here, you can see I've also started building another road and this was done in the same way. Some bits of track to give me what I wanted. And this is gonna be a little country lane running up the side of the railway. And I've started building the hills. Now this is dead simple. This again, big chunks of corrugated card. They come from packaging. Um, just keep an eye out when you have anything delivered supermarkets, garden centres, um, my local electrical store, as you know from when we built the cardboard layout, throws this stuff away, you just go in and they let you have it. Um, quick and easy way of making hills, and we'll show a bit more of that later. So um, I've also begun to experiment with the idea of that being a little engine shed in there, not probably that engine shed, that's one I built as an experiment, but that will be the engine shed. So. Um, Quite a bit going on, and let's have a look at a few other ideas. So, for the second part of this video, we've moved into where this layout was designed to be worked on, which is in the kitchen, uh, because as you can see, uh, we've got enough light in here to work, although obviously the light will have changed a bit on the film. Uh, but what it means, instead of going out in the cold conservatory with poor light, I can come in here, uh, like now, and just do half an hour. And that's probably worth pointing out how I do a lot of my work. People say, how do I get so much done? Because I tend to have it somewhere it's accessible, even if it's in the conservatory. And if I've got quarter of an hour or half an hour, I just do one bit, uh, rather than trying to sit and do great loads of work in one time. So what I did do the other evening is this, which is the hill. And you can see that what we've gone back to is uh, screwed up paper and paper mache idea. It's got to have a bit more layers on. But what I've started experimenting with this time because of a time reason was going back to using what we've used before, uh, which is hot glue. Um, and I'll just do a little bit of the hill over the other side so you can see how we do that. So the hills have been made really simply um, just by using chunks of car this which I showed earlier, this is the thick corrugated cardboard, but obviously by using a hot glue gun, it's much quicker um, and it will keep the weight down. So you know that's what we're always about, nice and cheap and weight. And really all I've been doing to do the other hills is nothing too sophisticated. Screwed up newspaper, I know I need to start doing a hill there. A little bit of hot glue. Hold it down while it dries. Um, And really, it's as simple as that. I'm just showing this because I know uh, Cheryl and a few other people do say that we have a tendency to show and say, this is what we did this week, without showing people 
how we did it. I would point out sometimes we have, so somebody commented, yeah, but how did you build the station? But that is the subject of earlier videos. So if you are watching one of these and you think, oh, how did they do this or whatever, sometimes we don't explain everything. A bit like this time I haven't shown putting the ballast mat down because we've already shown that in two or three earlier videos. So sometimes if you see something and you're thinking, well, that's fine, but how did you guys do it? It's sometimes just worth going back through, having a look at our back catalog as it were and see if perhaps we've covered it there um, so you can see the idea here I'm just going to build it up by putting in lots of screwed up bits of newspaper so it's quite uh, environmentally sound because it's all recycled um, and of course it's lightweight now I'm not going to put a huge amount of coats of paper mache on this when it's done because um, it really doesn't matter if it moves a little bit you know my philosophy is everybody massively over engineers their hills and things um we're not if you're going to use like plaster and stuff then you probably have to because if it moves it cracks but with this stuff it doesn't really matter if it moves because it's not going to crack uh, which is another advantage one of the hills on rosen's hill uh, you could actually move the the, the grass bank but it is hot glue and it, it is hot if you're stupid enough to stick your fingers in it um so please be careful if you're using hot glue. Um, it is hot. Strange that, isn't it? Now, I have seen cool glue guns. That might be worth it for me. There we go. So you can see how we're gonna we're gonna how we're gonna do that. And then all we'll do later is we take the strips and glue them like that over, and then we'll just build the hill up and paper mache in the normal way. Um, so there we go. That's how we're building our hills. So when this has had a couple more coats and a bit of PVA, I'm going to try something slightly different that I've read about in Continental Modeler, but I've never tried, which will be using grass mats to do the hill rather than uh, ballast or static grass. And I've seen people use this, glue this at the bottom, wet it, and then form it around the hills. Uh, so I've got some slightly better stuff on order because I've only got off cuts, um, some Javis stuff. And when we get it, we'll show you how we do it. But that's the plan for doing the hills. Okay. And we're just going to finish this video. Everybody likes to see locos running. But we thought we'd show something a little bit different. Nobody's seen this before, World Preview. This is Budget Model Railway's first 00 gauge Bobo diesel locomotive. So much larger than everything, anything we've built before. In fact, we thought we'd have to wait for the new big printer, but it will just print on our old printers. Doug's uprated them with some different mats. So details of this will be going on the website at some point in the future, uh, cost and everything. But it's a flat packed kit. It won't be as a body shell, it's a six part kit. So those of you in far flung parts of the world, it'll still be cheap to send. Um, and it's just gonna be great to have our own freelance diesels running on some of our layouts. Um, now, not only have we got a diesel, uh, let's show you the other thing we've got as well. So we also have this, uh, we're still waiting to get a chassis that will uh, run smoothly on this, but this will then be our double O gauge diesel rail bus. You know what a big fan I am of diesel rail buses, um, but I haven't had anything that would look good on there. So this is our own design, um, will look good as either a UK or a continental one. And these two, uh, what I haven't explained, both of these are running on the Lima Class 33 HO chassis, not the double O, the HO chassis. Now that makes them smaller and more compact, and those chassis at least in the UK can be picked up for between 10 and 15 pound um, because they're HO and nobody wants them. I also believe that they were quite common in Australia at one time somebody told me. So anyway a couple of new models there details will be on the website at some point and lots of work on the layout this week. So my plan is very much each Friday at the moment to do an update on this layout so if you're enjoying watching this please subscribe click the subscribe button and then you won't miss the updates. Better still, click the little notification bell and then you'll even get an update when the new videos come out. Also, if you're watching this for the first time, please uh, have a look at our free Christmas giveaway because you could win uh, one of our kits or a Hornby train set, absolutely free for Christmas. So please have a look at that as well. Um, Always worth, as I say, going back through some of our older videos if you're new to us and see what we've got on there. I know one or two people have been doing that, uh, binge watching. Uh, so if you get a minute, binge watch some of our videos. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll speak to you again soon.
Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.